Yeah. Now. Yeah. I would imagine in at least winner's top eight. Oh, here we go. We got Ganon versus Falco. It's a pretty cool matchup. Like, Falco should be able to control the neutral game really well, and he can combo he can combo the piss out of Ganondorf. But if Ganon hits Falco at all, like, like that's always kind of the way with Ganon. Is if he hits anybody, it's like really bad. But Falco is like especially terrible. Yeah. We saw a lot like, of. Uh, look at this. Like he's dead. We saw a lot of Falco get in teams, and it's like it's, it's oh, Kage just. That was TM. Oh, oh TM. Yeah. I'm, you know what? Looks like, look at my Kage though. Yeah, honestly. exactly. It's a compliment. Okay, yeah. back here. And TM and Ganondorf lives to pretty high percent in this matchup too. I mean, unless he gets like the edge guarded. Yeah, Falco can like. Oh, he almost made it back. Too. Dominate the neutral in this matchup using lasers, and he can punish uh, Ganon so hard. But if TM gets those like one or two hits that lead into like fares off stage, you can turn 20% into a stock pretty oh, yeah. quickly. Like down air fair can kill Falco. Yeah. Especially if he's got a little bit of percent before you jab him a couple times, maybe. Like we're just saying though, Falco, when he has control of the neutral, it looks pretty rough. Yeah, it really does. And that and. And if you're if you're an aspiring Ganondorf main in this matchup, like that's okay. Like you don't like when Falco is controlling you, controlling you. Don't have to think, oh man, like I'm doing this matchup so wrong. Like I'm just getting racked in the neutral. No, that's how it's supposed you're to be. You're just getting Falco, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like you just gotta try to find your opening and punish him really hard when you get it. Ooh, bit, bit you can't too do aggressive. Stuff like that. Yeah. No, I we saw a bit of chain grabbing there from TM. I know Ganondorf can sort of do it against Space. Yeah, he can do a couple chain a couple chain throws. I think it's hard though. Yeah, it is. All right, but I think Falco especially. Yeah, works better than Fox. We're even at two stocks here, though. Okay. Oh, I like the lasers in the shine. That up air was such a good way for TM to regain stage control. Yep. Though. It's so cool. It's so true. Cool. Because like whoever sort of has the momentum, has the combo going, can take the stock at any time. Oh yeah. Okay. Wizard's foot down. Ooh, wow. But he's still alive, but now he's yeah. Now he's dead. Yeah. Di was good, but not quite good enough. Yeah, in these last couple stocks, you really have seen Moosey's, he's playing this matchup right, like, shine him and down him, just don't, don't mess any of this stuff up, because this is all fairly free. See, but then you mess one up and you get dared. But TM couldn't get much of a follow-up off it. Okay. Well, I'm amazed that forward smash missed. Yeah, that was a really good, uh, ledge get up, too. It's it a was. crispy wavelength. I don't know how Ganondorf's doing. They're so good at getting back up from the ledge. Because Ganon has, it's like, so hard. no ledge on Like, you, 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 you fall off and jump, and you're, like, not even above the ledge yet. Survival. That guy beat me in winners in winners round one of the teams. Ooh. Sorry, I think I outplayed him, so it's okay. <laughs> Shout out to Shark. Oh. Alright, here we go. Going into game two. Uh interesting stage choice for TM. Yeah, I, really I think it gives more room to laser. I think this is a better stage for Falco. I guess the one caveat is that Gindorf can live really long on the stage. Yeah, but I feel like but I feel like Ganon doesn't get killed off the blast zones very much by Falco anyways. It's usually it's usually just when he gets edge guarded. Yeah. Yeah, I don't but, know. Like, it's an we, saw, we just saw there, like, one good forward dash without DI and that can end up getting good stock. Ooh, good jab, yeah, oh, like, that's not safe! Yeah. Mm. Double laser from the ledge is not safe. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's not safe against Ganon. I just know it's not safe. TM loves to use the uh, weird reverse like hitbox down there, even in neutral. It's so good. Like... That's the way. If anybody watched the Kage Gauntlet with me, with me getting wrecked, he did. He did that to me a bunch like of times. Like, times that's, yeah. yeah, it's such a good way to kill somebody when they're when you know they're gonna go to the ledge. Deep yeah. Sea Squid does that to me a lot too. <laughs> oh, he misses a wave lane. That kind of sucks. Oh my gosh. Oh. Goes for it all. Nah. Yeah, maybe. I don't think. Thing is, like, he hit. You're not gonna mistakenly hit B. What else could you go for there? Yeah, I guess that is true. It would have been maybe like uh, maybe he was trying to up B and grab him on the platform. Possibly. Can you do maybe that he got information, in inspiration from watching Kage. Oh, the yeah. forward air coming back. Oh, power shield, grab, jab. It's that 20xx Ganon stuff. Sweet short and boost though, staying alive. Not yeah, was running into that fair. I think it's a power shield with laser actually. Oh, down air. Yeah. He went right up there and just. Intercept of the wizards, which is dangerous because if that hits you, that's a true Yeah, spike. you're dead. Yeah. Which Ooh. I guess is true for Falco's down here, too. Yeah, Falco's just doing Falco Sucker. things because of but one fair takes it. Yeah, I think he tried. I think he got him with a shield drop up here, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. It was something. It's so dangerous. Like, Falco wants to play aggressively and just get that pillaring going, but if Gandalf gets one straight hit at 5%, you're dead. Oh. Falco's tech roll is so far. So tough for TM to follow up on it. Okay, back air, down air again? Ooh, good, good jump away. Alright, 
I like that laser dash away, dash back. It was a cool little, cool little mix-up idea from Moose. Good yeah. mistake from Moose. He could have. Oh no! Got the edge guard. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, that laser hit. Yeah, that hurts. When you get hit by that laser, and you're coming back. I thought like he might be able to make it, and then. That's the kind of stuff that makes you really feel like how you can feel how mean Falco is. I just comboed you like all the way to death, and I'm gonna shoot you when you're recovering too. Oh, Moose is stacking up though. Yeah, he's showing why he's like top four in Michigan. Yeah. TM's ten, I think. Cause he is actually on our on the Michigan PR. TM's no slouch. Yeah, he's not a slouch. I mean, you can see he's taking. He can win this still. Like, notice how he's playing near the ledge. He wants to get a gimp right now. Yep. It's hard for Ganon to gimp Falco, but it can happen. And especially, it can happen just off of. Like, it doesn't look like gimps for most characters, where they kill him at, like, low percent. Ganon will just hit him, like, three times, and that'll be a gimp. Exactly. And that's, over. like, 50% too. Yeah, exactly. Ganon doesn't kill people at low percent, because he doesn't do, like, hitting people. And then His hits low. can't do, like, yeah, ex small amounts of percent. Yep, okay. Good shot back in there. That was good for Moose. I think TM can still live, as long as he doesn't get down here. He, get, he went for the ledge. Yeah, he tried to, like, sort of fake him out, but Moose is too smart and too patient for it. Yep, that'll happen. I see Ginger walking up behind.